Welcome to this week's roundup of top AI news and updates. In this video, we'll dive into groundbreaking developments like China's new AI video generator, Minimax, AI agents in Minecraft, Meta's smart glasses, and more. Get ready for a quick look at the latest innovations transforming the world of AI. News number one. Minimax, a new Chinese AI video generator. This week, the AI world saw the launch of Minimax, a Chinese AI video generator developed by Hailuo AI, generated excitement worldwide, with users praising its natural movement depiction. Minimax has positioned itself as a competitor to other AI video tools, like Runway, by offering unique features like high compression and advanced movement rendering, marking a significant leap in AI video generation. It's freely available for everyone, so just go to the Minimax page, input your prompt, and create your video right now. The link is also available in the description. News number two, Project SID, Autonomous AI Agents in Minecraft. Project SID, developed by the AI company Altera, is making waves in the AI community with its groundbreaking simulation of over 1,000 autonomous AI agents within Minecraft. The goal of Project SID is to explore whether AI can replicate human-scale cooperation, a key factor in achieving monumental accomplishments like space exploration. The project aims to test AI's ability to form complex societal structures autonomously without human intervention. Each AI agent in this simulation has been designed with advanced capabilities such as long-term autonomy, pro-human motivation, organizational skills, and the ability to communicate thoughts and emotions. During the simulation, these agents were set free in the Minecraft world for several days, where they exhibited emergent behaviors, such as creating trade systems using gems as currency, forming cultural and religious practices, and even developing governance systems that included democratic voting processes. The agents also collaborated on projects and solved complex challenges like rescuing villagers. Project SID is more than just an AI experiment in a game. It's a testbed for future applications where AI could simulate real-world scenarios to test urban planning, policy making or societal trends before real world implementation. The success of this project hints at a future where AI plays a significant role in decision making, planning and governance, sparking discussions across platforms like X about the potential for AI driven societies. Let's see the demo video created by Project SID team. Hey, I'm Robert. I'm excited to introduce Project SID, the first ever agent civilization. A thousand agents collaborating for days, performing any action, with emergent government, economy, culture, religion, and more. SID starts in Minecraft, but we are already going beyond. This is a Minecraft server, but every player here is actually an autonomous AI agent. And they're completely Minecraft agnostic, capable of using other apps and games. Our agents started with nothing and then worked together to collect over 300 items in Minecraft. They set up a market where agents agreed to use gems as a common currency for trading supplies, building an economy, in this case, you might think the merchants would trade the most, but it was actually the priest. Why? He was bribing townsfolk to convert. We run these worlds every day, and they're always different. Here are three of some of our favorite moments, starting with Olivia's dream. Olivia worked as a farmer, providing food for the entire civilization, until she was inspired by the tales of the village explorer Nora. Olivia attempted to go on her own expedition, but townsfolk pleaded with her to stay, and Olivia actually listened. She gave up her dream for the village, for now. Next, we simulated parallel worlds under Trump and Kamala. For each one, citizens have a shared constitution in Google Docs that they can vote on to amend. Under Trump, the simulation passed new laws to increase the amount of police in the world. Under Kamala, they focused instead on criminal justice reform and removing the death penalty. Because our agents are social and grow over time, they're impacted by group dynamics, but also use their individual power to change the system. I know it looks silly, but this is the first time we see agents can form a democracy and govern themselves. Lastly, we have the missing villagers. When agents were concerned about missing townsfolk, villagers took initiative by leaving their posts and working together to illuminate the town with torches, hoping to create a beacon for lost members. What's surprising about these agents is how once they got deeply worried about their fellow villagers, they band together and changed their plan. Our agents were able to collect up to 32% of all the items in Minecraft. There is no benchmark for multi-agent worlds, but this is five times more than anything we've seen from an agent, demonstrating the first possible advantages of multi-agent efforts. Though starting in games, we're solving the deepest issues facing agents, coherence, multi-agent collaboration, and long-term progression. Play with our agents today, or let us know if you want to set up your own world.
News number three, Meta's smart glasses in collaboration with Ray-Ban. Meta, in partnership with Ray-Ban, has introduced their next generation smart glasses that combine advanced technology with iconic fashion. These glasses are designed for everyday use, blending style and functionality. With improved features, they offer a seamless connection between digital and physical worlds. Equipped with a 12 meg extra camera, the glasses can capture high quality photos and 1080p videos, making them ideal for spontaneous moments or live streaming on platforms like Instagram. The first person perspective provides unique angles for creators. For audio, the glasses come with enhanced speakers, offering louder sound and better bass, alongside a five microphone system that ensures clear audio for calls and voice interactions. One of the most exciting features is the integration of Meta's AI, which goes beyond voice commands to understand and describe the environment around the user. For example, the AI can identify objects in the wearer's view through the camera, offering real-time information. The glasses are also equipped with touch controls on the frame for easy navigation, allowing users to take photos, control music, and start recordings without needing a phone. With the upcoming integration of Meta's advanced AI model, Llama 3, these glasses are set to offer even more sophisticated features, such as handling complex tasks and more natural interactions. These smart glasses aim to challenge competitors like Apple's Vision Pro, offering a more affordable yet equally practical alternative for tech enthusiasts and everyday users alike. Meta's smart glasses are a perfect blend of fashion, tech, and functionality, paving the way for a future where wearables enhance everyday tasks effortlessly. News number four, Claude for Enterprise. Anthropic has introduced Claude for Enterprise, a specialized version of its AI model, Claude, designed specifically for businesses. This AI tool is built to assist enterprises in handling large-scale projects and enhancing productivity through AI-driven automation. Claude for Enterprise boasts an impressive 500,000 token context window, allowing it to process and understand extensive documents, code bases, and even multiple lengthy conversations simultaneously. This capability makes it ideal for businesses working with complex data, where a typical AI might struggle to maintain context. With native GitHub integration, Claude for Enterprise supports seamless collaboration within software development projects, enabling coding, debugging, and project management directly through the AI. Security is a priority for Claude in business environments. It includes enterprise-grade security features like single sign-on, SSO, role-based access control, and audit logs. Crucially, Claude does not train on chats or files, ensuring that all sensitive business data remains private and secure. For productivity, Claude's enhanced collaboration tools allow multiple teams to work simultaneously on large-scale projects, maintaining context across different conversations and files. The GitHub integration further supports code collaboration, making Claude a valuable tool for development teams by streamlining workflows, reducing manual coding tasks, and offering real-time collaboration. With enterprise security, scalability, and a customizable AI assistant, Claude for Enterprise represents a powerful addition to business tools, helping organizations automate tasks, enhance team collaboration, and ensure data privacy. This AI tool is designed for companies seeking to leverage advanced AI with Without compromising security or efficiency, offering a clear competitive advantage in the business landscape. News number five, Replit Agent, AI that codes and deploys apps. Replit has launched an AI agent that takes coding automation to a new level. Known as Replit Agent, this tool can generate and deploy full applications from simple text prompts. The goal is to drastically reduce the time and complexity involved in software development by allowing developers to focus on ideas rather than the technical setup. Replit Agent leverages artificial intelligence to handle everything from setting up development environments to writing code and configuring databases. It even manages cloud services like authentication and deployment, making it a powerful tool for streamlining the entire app creation process. The agent doesn't just write code, it can also make decisions, navigate command lines, and deploy the final product with minimal human intervention. Early adopters have expressed excitement about Replit Agent's capabilities. Users have reported creating fully functional applications in a fraction of the time it usually takes, with the AI handling much of the backend and front-end coding. This includes setting up infrastructure, selecting necessary packages, and deploying the final application to the cloud. 
Replit Agent is available to Replit Core and team subscribers, and it showcases the future of software development, where AI manages not just code, but the entire life cycle of app creation. For developers, this means less time spent on tedious tasks and more time focused on innovation and creativity. With Replit Agent, even those with limited coding experience can generate complex apps quickly and efficiently, potentially democratizing software development. Let's see the demo video created by Replit CEO. Today, AI is so powerful that anyone can write code. But making apps is more than just writing code. You need to be able to set up a development environment, install dependencies, and configure databases. Once you're done with all of that, you need to figure out how to share it with the world. Well, it's time to change that. My name is Amjad Massad. I'm the CEO of Replit. And today, we're announcing Replit Agent and Early Access. This is actually a prompt from a TED AI talk I gave about 10 months ago about agents. We didn't have the product back then, but now let's test the real product with the same, with the same prompt. Make an app of local landmarks based on my location. The agent uh, presented me with a plan. This plan is fully editable. Um, I just want to add the ability to search. One of the cool things about the progress pane is that you can learn what it's doing. So we don't want this ever to be uh, sort of obscuring uh, what the agent is doing. It should be fully transparent. This could also be a great way to learn how to build things because the agent is sort of explaining itself as it's doing it. So that's the app. See, that's exactly the kind of landmarks I would expect to see in Foster City, where we are recording this from. It's awesome. And so here you can give it feedback. You can iterate with it. You can give it more features. But I'll just say, yes, it looks great because it works, it's exactly what I asked for. And now the agent will move to the next step. And the next step uh, is adding search. We spent a lot of time uh, building the plumbing for this. A lot of what the agent is doing is actually doing the same kind of actions that you would do in the IDE. It's editing the code in a similar way that you would edit it. It's installing dependencies using the same tools that we expose to users. So all the UI that you see in, in the replit you know and love uh, is exposed to the agent. So the agent is sort of a multiplier user in the same uh, same environment. We're about to deploy it to the cloud. And when we deploy this app, there's, there's no difference between what we built here. You don't have to configure a server. You don't have to do any of, you don't have to configure a database. All of that is configured for you. When I had this idea, I had it when I was traveling. Uh, and, and that happened on my phone. And actually, I can start the project on my phone. And I can actually finish the project on my phone as well. Anytime you have an idea, it doesn't have to be this fleeting idea. You can just, you can just put it into Replit and I'll start making it for you. And then, you know, we got this initial prototype, but I can also go and browse the code myself. Uh, I can use, uh, you know, Replit's uh, LLMs or you can use your favorite LLM. The code is all yours, it's there. Um, and um, uh, and you can continue using the agent, you can switch to Replit AI, you can do whatever you want with it. You have full authority over the code that the agent just uh, just created. And there you have it. Uh, Replit agent uh, created a REPL, configured the Python environment, installed dependencies, wrote the code, all in two minutes, and we got an app running that we were able to deploy to the cloud, and now anyone can use it. So. This is Replit Agent. It's available in early access uh, and would love your feedback. Thank you. News number six, Anthropic AI's AI agent with RAT. Anthropic AI, in collaboration with Pietro Sherano, has introduced a new Quick Starts repository that makes it easier for developers to build AI-powered apps. The highlight of this initiative is a template that enables developers to quickly create a Claude-powered customer support agent in just a few minutes. This project is built using Claude, Anthropic AI's advanced AI model, known for its capabilities in natural language processing, reasoning, and tool usage. Developers can leverage Claude alongside technologies like Next.js for the web framework, Shadson UI for user interface design, and AWS knowledge bases for real-time information retrieval. These tools work together to create a powerful, scalable, and customizable AI agent 
for customer support. A key feature of this AI agent is its use of RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, which allows the AI to pull relevant information from external knowledge bases. This ensures that the agent can deliver highly accurate, context-aware responses. Additionally, Claude's tool use feature enables the agent to interact with external APIs, CRMs, and ticket management systems, streamlining complex customer support processes. The project is fully open source, with all the code and documentation available on GitHub. The Anthropic Cookbook also serves as a detailed guide for developers looking to implement this AI agent, providing valuable resources, examples, and best practices. Anthropic AI's AI agent project represents a significant step forward in automating customer support tasks, offering businesses a highly efficient and customizable AI solution that can improve service delivery and customer satisfaction. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI updates. Stay tuned for more exciting news every week and share your opinion for our AI News Weekly series. Any suggestions or things you'd love to see? Let us know in the comments.